3.5 geometric and scientific applications. It's MA.912.AR.1.2. Point 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 We're going to use common formulas to solve applications, solve mixture problems, and solve work-related problems. So some miscellaneous formulas that we have here are the format of temperature, simple interest, distance, and then we go into our area perimeter volume formulas. So we have our square, the rectangle, our circle, triangle, our three-dimensional figures, the cube, the rectangular solid, the cylinder, and the sphere. Example two, using a geometric formula. It says you own a rectangular lot that has an area of 100,000 square feet. To pay for a new sewer system, you are assessed $5.50 per foot of lot frontage. So we're gonna find the frontage of your lot and then find out how much will you be assessed for your new sewer system. So here's the road and here's your lot. They gave you the length is 500 and they want us to find the width, which is our front lot. They also told you that the area was 100,000 square feet. So remember formula for, so we're looking at A, area is equal to length times width because they gave you an area. So we're gonna say 100,000 is equal to 500 times W because they told you the length was 500. We're gonna divide both sides by 500. So W is equal to cancel, cancel a pair of zeros. A thousand divided by five is 200 feet. So we know that our width right here, the front portion is gonna be 200 feet. So part B wants us to find our cost. And it's gonna, they told you it was $5.50 per foot. So we're gonna say times W because W is what we were finding. So you're saying 550 times our 200. So my 550 times 200 gives us $1,100. So the cost of the sewer increase is going to be $1,100. Example three says, solving a simple investment mixture problem. Says you invested a total of $10,000 in two funds earning 4.5% and 5.5% simple interest. In 12 months, the two funds earned a total of $508.75 in an interest. How much did you invest in each fund? For this problem, I'm going to use a table of values. So we have account and interest. So we're going back to three two equations, two unknowns. One is at four and a half percent. One is at five and a half percent. And then we have our total. So we don't know how much we have at the 4%, four and a half. We don't know how much we have at the five and a half. That's why I wrote X and Y. But they told us we had 10,000 to invest. Remember back from unit, um, our module three, when we were doing systems and linear equations, we needed to convert these percentages into decimal points. So this is actually 0 0.045 with X, 0 0.055 with Y, and then they told you your total interest earned was 508.75. So we're gonna solve our, remember that these are being added together to total something. It said we were earning something. So I'm gonna say that Y is the same as 10,000 minus X. So I'm gonna use the second equation and replace Y with its substitution. I'm going to say 0.045x plus 0.055 times 10,000 minus x equals 508.75. So we're still 0.045x. We're distributing. So you're saying 0.055 times 10,000. That is 550 minus 0.055x 
equals 508.75. Combine your like terms. So these two, the X's, I, I had four pennies, four and a half pennies. I spent five and a half pennies. I am short 0 0.010 pennies plus the 550 equals 508.75. Subtract the 550 over. So you have negative 0.010x equaling 508.75 minus 550. It's negative 41.25. And then you're dividing both sides by negative 0.010. So then we're going to divide by 0.101. So remember that we're dividing by a negative, so this is actually positive 41.25. So x is 4,125. Now to find the y, remember y is equal to 10,000 minus x. So y is 10,000 minus 41.25. So 10,000 minus 41.25 is 58.75. Example four, solving a solution mixture problem. It says a pharmacist needs to strengthen a 15% alcohol solution with a pure alcohol solution to obtain a 32% solution. How much pure alcohol should be added to 100 ml of the 15% solution? So again, we're gonna use a table of values. So we have our mLs, we have our concentration, They told you you're taking a 15% solution and mixing it with a pure alcohol. When they're talking about pure alcohol, we're looking at it at 100%. And then we're yielding a 32% solution. Next thing they tell you is, so they wanna strengthen the 15% with pure alcohol to obtain 32%. How much pure alcohol, which means we don't know what our pure alcohol is amount, should be added to 100 mLs of 15. So we're doing 100 mLs of the 15 to create our thing. So remember, we are mixing this. So we're adding 15% with 100 to create 32%. So we are adding 100 mLs with a certain amount. So we get 100 plus X. Again, your percentages come down and they need to be in decimal form. So this is gonna be 0.15 times 100 plus 100% 100 is the same thing as one times X equals 0.32 times 100 plus X. So this last row is our actual equation. So we have 0.15 times 100 plus one times X equals 0.32 times 100 plus X. So we want to find out is how much of the 100% we want. I know your distributive property, so 0 0.15 times 100 is 15. 1 times x is x. We're distributing in 0.32 times 100, that is 32, plus 0.32x. We're going to combine our x's, so I'm going to move my x's to the left and numbers to the right. So I'm going to subtract 0 0.32, subtract 15. So I get a dollar and I spent 32 cents, I'm still 68 cents with an X. I had 32 and spent 15, I'm at 17. And then what's left is to divide both sides by 0 0.68. So we get 25. So I need 25 mLs of the 100%. Example five, solving a work rate problem. It says, consider two machines in a paper manufacturing plant. 
Machine one can compute one job, complete one job in three hours. Machine two is newer and can complete one job in two and a half hours. How long will it take for the two machines working together to complete one job? So first thing you need to start with is with a header. So machine number one plus machine number two equals together. So it says machine one can take the job and do it in three hours. So one job in three hours. Machine two can do the same job in two and a half hours. They want us to find how long it's going to take if both machines are working at the same time together. So the same job, one job together, which we don't know. That's why it's X. So in this instance, we need to first find our, we need an LCD. So three times your 2.5 is 7.5. So we're at 7.5 with an X because I need one of every type. So we're multiplying every single piece by 7.5 with an X. So here, 7.5 divided by three is the same thing as saying 2.5 times my one job with an X. Here, 7.5 divided by 2.5 is the same thing as saying 3 with an x. So I'm going to say 3x times my one job. Here, our x is canceled and we get 7.5. So 2.5x plus another 3x equals our 7.5. This is 5.5x equals 7.5. So all we got to do is divide both sides by 5.5. So 7.5 divided by 5.5 is 1.36. So 1.36 hours. Example six, solving a fluid rate problem. It says an above ground swimming pool has a capacity of 15,600 gallons. A drain pipe can empty the pool in six and a half hours. At what rate in gallons per minute does the water flow through the drain pipe? So first thing, they tell you gallons and they tell you time in hours, but the rate they want is in gallons per minute. So first thing, our time was six and a half hours. So I need to convert this to minutes. So remember, one hour is 60 minutes. So we're gonna do 6.5 times 60 because I want it in minutes. So 6.5 times 60 is 390 minutes. Now they want our rain. So think of the capacity being the same thing as distance. So we're gonna look at it as distance rate times time. So I want my rate, so I'm dividing both sides by time. So the distance in this instance is capacity divided by time is our rate piece. So our capacity which is the same thing as saying distance, is our divided by time to give us our rate piece. We have 15,600 gallons over 390 minutes. So now I'm in the ratio of gallons per minute equals our rate. So you're gonna do 15,600 and divide that by 390 and we get 40. So it's 40 gallons per minute is our rate in this instance. 